after the success of the rehabilitation of one of Manila's busiest waterway. The Pasig River, that has been recognized, and won first, in 2018 Asia River Prize Awards, given by International River Foundation IRF. The Urban River Management for Pasig River, will expand its restoration effort by creating the comprehensive Pasig River Rehabilitation Management Project. To become more spatially coherent, to accommodate multi-scale solutions, and to ensure land-based development performance, is at par with environmental quality requisite. Now, with the completion of 2017-2032 Pasig River Integrated and Strategic Master Plan, the Belt and Road Initiatives, and the Philippines Ambition 2040 Strategy, have joined hands, filling Sino-Philippine economic and trade cooperation with vitality, in creating the comprehensive Pasig River Rehabilitation Management Project in the Philippines. The project aims not just to restore the Pasig River from its former glory, and maintain to the desired state but also enhanced the economic activity along its riverbank by promoting business developments, and tourism. The Pasig River, like a precious gift to Manila from God, over the long course of time has continued to show her gorgeous nature. Her transcendent clarity is the source of city's vitality, and abundant and vigorous waterfront space merges the city and the water, becoming the public living room of the capital city. By focusing on the overall development of the city, as well as the unified planning of multi-field construction, we build up comprehensive functional green corridors of a high standard, and create Manila's new spatial pattern. Environmental Renovation and Comprehensive Development Pasig River is a symbol of the city, and what's more a symbol of the whole country. The management of the Pasig River mainly involves four aspects. The comprehensive improvement of the river water system. The comprehensive development of the water traffic. The light rail construction along the river. And the comprehensive development of Laguna Lake. The comprehensive improvement of the river water system. The planning and development on both sides of the river, will start with the dredging of the river. Creating a waterfront economic zone combined with tourism, which has a complete industrial chain, rich spatial dimension, as well as multiple land used functions. Meanwhile, the value of the commercial land along the waterfront, and the value of the commercial leisure experience will both be enhanced, so that the waterfront space and the surrounding functional area can implement cross-border interactions. Combined with the regional features, the large fountain and the waterscape design will create a rich and open array of landscapes, providing a space for wandering communication, relaxation, and thinking. In addition, the intervening trails and small venues will create ecological wetlands and green barriers. The Comprehensive Water Traffic Development Dredge the river channel and the waterway to remove the internal garbage. Increase the water depth and broaden the waterway to improve the capacity of the channel. Increase yacht stations to enhance the convenience of transportation. Construct bridges with a large span and high headroom combined with urban water and land transportation planning. To form an integrated, three-dimensional urban transportation network. The light rail, and expressway construction, along the river. The planning and construction of the rail transit will adhere to the concepts of building a high-tech city and a smart city. The rail line will be parallel with the river, forming a sightseeing route along the Pasig River Bank. To achieve the integration of the landscape in the city, promoting the city's overall development.
Its western section will connect both sides of Pasig River while its easter section will join the planned highway, forming an intensive transport system which will provide convenience for the city's east-west development. The construction of Pasig River Expressway the Pasig River Expressway, that will skirt the banks of the Pasig River and connect the city of Manila to the province of Rizal. The expressway is being planned to decongest traffic and to cure the pollution of the Pasig River. The overall length of the expressway will be 19.4 kilometers. Construction of the expressway is expected to begin in February 2021 and to be completed by 2023, according to San Miguel Corporation. The Comprehensive Development of Laguna Lake The project involves the financing, design, construction, preservation and development works within the Laguna Lake, as a flood mitigation measure for the areas surrounding Laguna de Bay. The development and preservation work include the construction of a six-lane, 46.6 km. Toll road on a viaduct structure to be located 100 meters from the western shoreline of Laguna Lake, and a reclamation and development of 2,000 hectares of land within the jurisdiction of Taguig City. The rehabilitation project, which will be undertaken in a span of 5 to 10 years, includes the dredging of approximately 800 million cubic meters of silt and mud. The implementation of the project. During the initial stage, we will enhance the quality of the environment and build important landscape nodes. During the promotion stage, we will fully establish the park system along the river and carry out the urbanization. During the Great Leap Forward stage, we will create high-quality tourism products, achieving the integrated tourism of the river and the sea, in the overall advancement of the developed west and developing east promoting the full improvement of Manila's urban quality. Social and economic benefits The Pasig River is a hopeful river, a rising river. When the rehabilitation planning lands, it will undoubtedly bring limitless business opportunities to Manila. It will not only enhance the Manila's city image and improve residents' quality of life, but it will also build a complete three-dimensional urban transport network becoming a powerful engine for Manila's tourism and business development. The profound history accumulated by thousands of years exudes mystery in this hotbed. The intoxicated local customs are enhanced by the gorgeousness of the Pasig River. The Philippines has always been as broad-minded as the vast sea, with a hard-working and optimistic populace. Let's look forward together to the bright future of the Pasig River.